Hey everybody, the smoking Android here again. So here we are. We have our first um, official, actually modded ROM of Gingerbread 2.3.4 for the Motorola Atrix. Um, I was going to put out a video guide on how to upgrade your phone to this, but um, the author of the guide that I was going to base this off of that I've talked to said that to hold off on it um, and because he's going to be revising his guide considerably actually hacking the process that I used basically in half or more so it's going to be super easy for you guys so um, I'm going to include a link to the guy that I used but if you're not experienced with beta builds of, of ROMs and, and bugs and things like that um, I don't recommend doing this until I've released um, uh, uh, my next guide on how to upgrade um, to 2.3.4 um, the easy way um, but and, and nevertheless I wanted to show you guys this new ROM it's called Cherry Blur um, this particular version is version 0.5D. Um, there is a new version 1.1A. However, uh, after reading some comments, um, I don't want to download it and flash it just uh, as of yet, seeing as there's uh, enough bugs and I would have to sit there for about 20 minutes to half an hour probably flashing a bunch of fixes and crap I don't feel like doing. So for now, for everyday use, this is good enough for me. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get started and give you guys a little walkthrough of this and uh, show you what it's like. Um, for starters, um, 2.3.4 now comes with that CRT off animation, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, Cherry Blur does come with um, the red effect. I personally don't like red, but um, just because it's not a stock 2.3.4, it, it is modified, um, I decided to flash this and run it anyways just to have some fun. Um, another cool feature about this particular ROM is that it has a wake on volume um, modification. So what that means is instead of always having to hit my uh, power button um, to wake it up and get into the slide lock or if you know you're reading an article and um, your screen times out um, instead of hitting the power button all the time you can just hit your volume key there uh, because your thumbs there usually naturally anyway so it just kinda makes sense so you can just kinda you know you just wake it up and slide along. Um, nothing too crazy with the uh, notification bar um, it is snappier. Um, I have noticed with uh, 2.3.4, um, it is just a quicker, quicker animations, quicker everything. Um, when I flash this, uh, I guess the the way you unlock um, the, the the unlocking method actually ends up screwing us out of a bunch of RAM, which puts us down to from 800 to 900 megabytes. No, it's not truly one gigabyte. It's actually eight or 900 on some phones. Knocks us down to 300 megabytes RAM, so I had to apply a fix to pump it back up again. But nevertheless, once that was done, you can see it's very quick. Um, comes stock with Launcher Pro, but um, I decided to avoid confusion or conflicts with the phone. It does give you an option to um, load the Moto Blur setup, but then hit the menu button and skip it. Um, so I've got Launcher Pro loaded up. Um, loads the uh, app drawer nice and quick and, and smooth. Um, with the Moto Blur version, um, when you pull, where, or sorry, not when you pull it down, uh, when you get into the app drawer, there's a little icon at the top there um, that's uh, app grouping. So when you hit it, it opens up and expands a new window and um, you can mess around with app uh, categories and, and so on. Um, this particular ROM did come with a couple of hacks. Um, oh, also 2.3 before it came with the uh, Google Music. Um, but uh, you do have to have Moto Blur accounts set up for it, and I didn't want to do that, so I left that alone. Um, it has a multi-touch tester hack. Um, it's supposed to be 10 points, but it's not. It's um, actually 8 points on this particular one. Um, they have apparently hacked so that you can use the, um, the native uh, mobile hotspot app. Um, there's uh, the music store is added on to it. Um, also, it does come with the new market. Um, the new version does not come with the new market, but this one uh, did, and it's working for me. So I didn't want to. I didn't feel any need to change it. Um, it comes with all these new categories and stuff, and um, trending and, and so on. So that's that's pretty cool. It does have cool new screen animations. So as I flip it, it does that. Flip it back. Does that? I thought that was pretty neat. Um, what else? Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Um, so, you know, it, it does have a th the the cherry blur theme is sort of on here, sort of. Um, as you can see, it is 
2.3.4 and I am actually running the AT&T build uh, 4.5.91 um, with my own Bell radio flashed onto it um, not my own but you know the, the Bell radio yeah anyways um, what else um, no they have not included the uh, 1080p recording um, I don't know what the deal is with that I'm waiting for somebody uh, a ROM developer to um, bypass that this particular ROM does come with the 1% uh, battery mod although it's not working and there's all kinds of battery issues happening right now with the 2.3.4 builds so um, the devs are hard at work on XDA to uh, deal with that issue um, oh and also this ROM actually comes with titanium backup so that's kind of nice you can quickly and easily back up your, or restore all of your apps and everything you wanted um, I didn't restore all of my apps because some of them seem to be conflicting with um, 2.3.4 so I had to uh, weed some of them out and just install the basics um, um, that's about it guys um, it comes with a couple other tweaks here and there um, as you go through you know some of the menus but other than that um, you know this basically enables you to download you know gingerbread compatible uh, apps and so on and you know this is just kind of a start um, there's already about three or four ROMs um, on the uh, XDA forms however they're not de-blurred as of yet like completely blur gone so uh, we're still waiting on that and I have heard some uh, confirmed rumors in fact I've read and spoke with some people from CM7 team and um, they are in fact uh, porting CM7 Cyanogen Mod 7 for the Motorola Atrix at the moment however they're having issues with their um, with their developer uh, phones um, one of them's hard bricked it's all fucked up and the other one they dropped and fucked that one up <laughs> So um, at the moment they're currently le looking for used or donated uh, Motorola Atrixes. Um, so I guess development's kind of ceased until they get their hands on some new hardware. Anyways, guys, um, until next time, there's your uh, little gingerbread flip through. Um, take out of this what you will, but um, yeah. Until next time, hopefully my next video will be the um, a nice, easy, user-friendly version uh, of um, a guide for you guys to uh, do all this stuff to your phone. Until um, next time guys, uh, the Smoking Android, please uh, subscribe, rate or comment if you appreciate the video and uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers!